Luzillion, the evil mutant, has captured the world using crypto mining technologies. He is the main mining boss of the universe. Those who control crypto mining control the world. And only one man can stop it. What's up, everybody? This is Brutal John, where you play as an awesome badass, where uh, this game is very heavily influenced by a game, games like uh, Duke Nukem. So this is a demo right here. Let's see, what is it? And I, I've spent about an hour with this game, and so far, whatever I played, I really enjoyed it. You start out with a ton of different weapons, and you're going to get a Gatling gun right now. These are the uh, health items right there. And the enemies just spawn in. I got my Gatling gun right here and I'm just gonna mow everybody down. Now the thing is, this game has hit scan. Or in other words, you can't directly dodge their projectiles. So let me see if I can get some ammo. Now, one thing about this game is I kept feeling like I was, uh, like, losing some ammo. Or, excuse me, running out of ammo. And you got these, uh, money things right here. Uh, treasures. And as you can see, in the top left-hand corner, 5 out of 259. That is, uh, a, a lot of items to pick up. I love the first-person retro style of this game. Now, if we go through the different weapons, you have a pistol, which will just take people out directly. And you also have a uh, enemy spawner right here. So let's just take that out. Actually, let's pull out a machine gun and take it down that way. Because obviously, they're just going to keep respawning from that until you take it out. So like I was saying, uh, the different weapons that you have now, you just start out with them. So I got the pistol, I have the shotgun, I have a machine gun, I believe I have another machine gun. Like you can see, a triple barrel right there, which is obviously an homage to Duke Nukem. But yeah, I really like the little bit of this game that I've played. Got a bunch of enemies coming at me here, and also you can see right there uh, a bunch of pig guys, just like in Duke Nukem. I love this retro style. Uh, see a little spawner right here? Let's go and take these guys out. I feel like this game doesn't need loading. You know, this is such a fast-paced uh, game. So let's see if I remember right. Oh, we got a couple of spawners here. Let's take them out. And one thing I really didn't like about this game is I feel like the shotgun is not very powerful at all. You just got a pistol. Like, watch this. It just takes out one at a time. And it also has a long reload time. Well, when you get a pistol, the pistol actually does a better job. But you have a bunch of different... Uh, ammo types for this game like machine gun ammo pistol ammo shotgun ammo and a bunch of different pickups now steam has this as a demo that's actually what I'm playing right now see two shots right there is the same as a shotgun oh and one thing also you can take out all of these uh, boxes there, and a lot of them 
will have money inside of them. And so one of the, also one of the other objectives that you're supposed to do is these are farms, uh, similar to like Bitcoin mining, which I think is hilarious. So let's just take those out. And here's the red key that we're gonna need for uh, the door. And if we go back over here real quick, oh, this game, the, the jumping is very floaty. Uh, I believe later in this level, you do get a machine gun, or excuse me, a uh, uh, grenades. Let's take out all these guys with a Gatlin gun. See, and just like that, your health just goes down super quick. But like I said before, this is a little indie style retro game that I really enjoy these kinds of games. I ju it just takes me back to games like Doom. And, and it wouldn't be a bad thing if we had more of these types of games. And for these guns, I don't believe there's any sort of secondary firing type. At least I don't find one for the pistol or for the shotgun. And here's a secret area in here. That's the one secret area that I found and I think I can find my way back there. See, I fell all the way back here. Then I'm gonna have to run because this hurts me really bad. And just like that, I'm right inside the secret area. But I kind of think I want to go back and check out if there's another um, secret area about down there. But I'm not sure if I have quite the amount of health. Oh, one thing that it'll tell you later in this early demo is that if you press F5, it'll quick save. And then if you press F8, it'll go right back to that quick save. OK, let's check over here, see if there's anything else over here. Whoa, almost dead. Don't see anything over there. Okay. Oh, got to wait for those things. The sprint is really nice. I do wish you could, could just uh, continually... Oh, just like that, I'm dead. I'm not sure who killed me. Let's uh, press F8 or load last save game. And here we are. Let's uh, go this way and let's twist this and go back this way. I will say every single first person shooter needs to have a rail gun. There's just nothing like the feeling of a rail gun. Okay, now which way am I supposed to go? Oh, I got some health over there. Oh, I just fell straight down. But actually my health is pretty uh, much full. What is that up there? Oh, it looks like a double barrel shotgun. So that's obviously a secret. Do I dare go back? Let's let's go back one last time. Did it give me an option to take that? No, okay. I think that's the way to go to the secret, but I'm not gonna go that way. Actually, maybe I can just go straight over there. I think that's the way I'm gonna go. Yeah, maybe there's something back here. Nope, there's nothing back there. All right. Ah. ah, that's what the answer is. Move that, jump here. Oh, I'm totally missed it. Let's try it real quick. Okay, lightly jump on it. Oh, it's not gonna let me jump on it. There we go. And then now I can go back to that secret area. Let's see if I can shoot these though. Nope. Okay, these are gonna drop, I think. See, they just drop just like that. Oh, now I have a nice double bit. Oh, it's an automatic shotgun. Oh no, it's a double barrel shotgun. All right, let's wait for those. 
Run through. Oh, run through again. Dodge both of the. Oh man, they are right on me. Also have a kick. Just like Duke Nukem, but I don't think it does very much damage at all. Okay, let's go back to my uh, machine gun. Another bad guy right here. Take him out. Give me some turkey. And up here and away we go. Oops. So now we're going to be fighting on rooftops. And I have enemies just... Whoa, there you go. They just spawn out of nowhere. Oh, I just found that out. If you plus, press the right mouse button, it's automatically going to spin your railgun. And so you can just start it firing right away. Oh, man. That is so helpful. Oh! I'm almost dead. Okay, I should have saved. Oh, it automatically saved me. Nice, it had a checkpoint. Oh, they're just taking it to me. Let's get me some health. Well, it seems like I can't do anything right. Let's reload the save one last time. Let's concentrate on taking out all these guys. Let's waste all our ammo. All for that. One thing I have to say is I really like is that there is a ton of health in this game. Oh, got those snipers from above. Luckily, they just take one shot. Yeah, I got another gun here. I'm gonna rain down fire from above on these guys. Oh, man, they are good shots. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go down there and meet them face to face. Oh, man, they're... Spin my Gatling gun, and here we go. This game is all about mowing down enemies. Right there, I just got a ton of ammo. Oh, and right here, I got a rocket launcher. Yes, please. Let's see what I got over here. Ah, a couple little health items. Take out groups of enemies just like that. See if I can blow up a car. Nope. Doesn't look like these levels are destructible at all. Oh, looks like we got a spawner right there. Oh! You can see that sweeping laser. I'm going to see if I can take one of them out. Oh, man, they are. It is hard to see them. 
Headshot, headshot, headshot. Looks like they got another spawner somewhere, but I want to make sure they don't have some sort of uh, guy sniping on me. Let's take this out. And then clean up these little guys. Right there, we have a ton of health. Oh man, they put you in a small corridor. Let's get out my uh, super shotgun. See, this, the shotgun doesn't have that much damage. I feel like a machine gun is way better for this. Or just a rocket launcher. Let's just go with the rocket launcher. Got a spawner right there. Let's take that out. Oh no. There we go. Go back. Get a ton of good chicken. Oh yeah. Gotta make sure with these kind of games that you just search in every nook and cranny. That way you can make your guy the most max powerful that you can. I think some guys are gonna spawn in here. Nope, nobody. I like this backpack full of goodies. And health, all right, full up on my health. I just need uh, my shields. All right, here's another uh, farm. Oh, whoa, we got... I'm gonna jump down here. So I can take these guys out. All right, took them out. Oh, got another guy there. Oh, man. Okay, now these are a couple of grenades. I'm not very good at using them because it's uh, bound to the G key. But let's do it. You throw it and then you press it again and it blows up. There we go. Not a problem at all. Let's see if I can kick the glass and go down there. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Spin it out. Take them out. And this is the end of the level. And just like Doom, they're going to show you all your different stats, all the different secrets. Uh, like I said before, this is really a game that is so much like Doom and uh, Duke Nukem 3D. Got the next level right here. Let's gear up because I've played this before and I know there is a massive boss in this level. And I'm gonna take him out. But first, we have to take out some of these guys. <coughs> Ooh, man. Nothing cleans it up like a rocket launcher. I love that precision of being able to just feel like you're a sniper when you have a rocket launcher. Oh, these boost you up there. I don't know what that is. I've never seen those before. Let's do that again. Oh, it looks like I got treasures. Okay. Let's do it again. All 12. There we go. Heal up. Take out some of these extra guys. Oh! I will say this game is a lot of fun. The more I play it, the more it really just grows on me. All right, and let's get this massive, uh, this is like a machine gun rocket launcher. Let's get all this ammo, and then I'm gonna blast him with this, and then I'm going to take the Gatling gun to him. All right, let's do it. Got the big bad guy there. Sometimes I feel like the damage is a little inconsistent because this is taking him down pretty good, but I think uh, the rail gun actually does an even better job. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, spin it, and then here we go. I don't know if there's any place that hurts him more. 
I think I should back off. Oh man. Let's get some health. At least it gives me a ton of ammo. But I've seen in the previews of this game that there are just massive bosses. And just like that, that is the game. So if you want a first person retro shooter that makes you feel like an absolute badass, I would definitely check out this game, uh, Brutal John on Steam with a demo. If you felt that this, uh, this video was helpful at all, I just ask that you give me a like and I hope you guys have an excellent day.